Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today, we are going to make a C++ project on the topic, phone book application. So without much delay, we'll begin. So first, we'll be seeing the requirements of this code. Firstly, you'll be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling your source code. Secondly, a text editor may be required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system is required. Again, you may use any operating system as per your choice, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So without much delay, we'll be moving towards the code part. So here we go. First, we have included all the header files here, as you can see. Then we have included the namespace std, that is the standard line. Then we have certain functions, the home function, the number addition function or the new record function, the show function, the find function, the record delete function and the update function. So what does these functions do? I've already commented them out. The home function is used to display home options and run the project. The second function is used to add new record in a binary file. Third function or the show function is used to read data file and display on screen. Fourth function. It uh, searches and displays record by serial number. Next function deletes a specific record from file and last function modifies a specific record in file. Now let's see the declaration of the class. So first we have a class named diary, which includes various attributes like the serial number. There are certain arrays like the character name array, character phone number array, the email array of character data type and the group by array. Then we have the public access specifier, which has a function named get serial number and it returns the serial number. Then we have the function named void data store. The return type of this function is void. That is no return type. Here first it displays create new phone record where we have certain numbers or certain fun um, functionalities which we need to enter like the serial number, the record name, the mobile number, email ID and the record group. These things we need to enter or the user need to enter. Then we have a function named data show where whatever we have entered, that things need to be displayed. So here we have the serial number name, the mobile number, email ID and the group which needs to be displayed. Then we have the void number addition function where we are actually having a file named phonebook.dat file where everything what we are writing or we are inputting into the file that needs to be stored. So here we are using file handling concept for better visualization and better backup storage or we need this file so that we can actually store our data in a proper and a systematic manner. Then it displays records saved to file. In the show function, again, all the data what we have inputted that is already stored in the phone book, the data file. So that data needs to be retrieved or needs to be displayed to the user. So again, the phone book.dat file is used to show the data to the user. Then after that, it shows recording, sorry, reading of data file is completed. Then we have a find function. In the find function, again, we need to go back to the file, that is phonebook.dat. Then we need to enter the serial number of the record to display. And after that, whatever pending on our serial number, it matches with the file. And if it is found, then that particular thing is displayed on screen. Then, it displays record found and displayed. Then the record of serial number, if it is not in the file, then it displays that the record is not found in the file. After which it displays reading of the data file is completed. Then we have the record delete function. In the record delete function, again, we need to refer back to the phonebook.dat file where we have the file, where we have the data and we need to delete the particular data which we intend to. Again, for a backup or for, a, for our safety, Whatever files we have deleted or whatever data we have deleted, we just temporarily store it into a temporary file or the temporary .dat file so that no loss of data occurs. Then it, is, uh, it asks you to enter the serial number of the record to be deleted. After entering, it displays that the record has been already successfully deleted. Then after opening a file, you need to close the file as well. Then if the particular record is not matched, if it is not found in the file, it displays the record or the serial number is not in the file. And the reading of the data file is completed. 
in the update function, what we need to do? We need to update the certain attributes of the file. It asks you to enter the serial number of the record to modify after which it will show the recorded or the recorded data has already been modified. And it will ask you to re-enter your new details after which the recording function does this work and your operation is successfully covered. Moving towards the home function, here this is the main function or the main screen which displays the phone book management and the program menu where we you need to press 0 for exit, 1 for save the new phone record, 2 for display all the saved records, 3 for searching of the specific record, 4 for deleting specific records, 5 modifying existing record, you need to enter your choice accordingly you will be driven towards a particular genre of code. So this was the coding part. I hope you understood this. Now we will be moving towards VS code where I'll show you the actual working and implementation of this code. So let's go there. So here I ran the code and you can see here the home page, the phone book management and program menu. So what do I need to do? I need to save a I need to save new records. So I press here one. So it's asking me the serial number. So I press here one. Then it asks me the record name. Say Matthews. It asks me the mobile number. So here I give the mobile number. Email ID. So Matthews at the rate gmail.com then uh, record group record group say a a b something or record group can be a2 so record has been saved to file so now i press 2 to just see my saved record so you can see your serial number name mobile number email id and group so the display records have been displayed so i press 3 here again to search for a specific record. It's so asking me the serial number, so I press one. So I got Matthews again. The Then again, what I need to have, I need to delete. No, let's modify it first. So I press here five. Uh, so I see, for deleting, I pressed four by mistakely and uh, it asked me to enter the serial number to delete, so I press here two. So it displays the record of serial number two is not in the file. So the reading of the data file is completed and it's not in the file. So now let me modify my record. So I have to modify record number one. So what is the serial number? So it's one. Then what is the record name? Say Matthews only. Matthews, okay. So what is his mobile number? His mobile number is 87906546. And 321. This is his mobile number. Then what's his email ID? The same. Matthews at the rate gmail.com. And what's his record group? See, I need to change it to B2. So I, I wrote B2. So the data has been modified. Now let's check whether our data has been modified. So I press here to see the group has been changed to B2. Then I'll delete this. So I press 4 and I delete this. So I have deleted. Now let me check if my file is there or not. So there is no file after pressing 2. So this was the actual implementation of the code. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day.